Hello, good afternoon. We always have this discussion on a Monday, don't we? Afternoon, that sounds about right. Or well, good noon. <laughs> um, today I thought we would have a bit of a um, remake. Hi Noala. So we're going to do a bit of a remake. So this is a little page we did back in, on the 29th of April. Um, and I want it to go big because I want to actually put a monthly make into my journal book. So we're going to do something like this, but a bit on a bigger scale and, well, only using our monthly make stamps. That is the plan. That is what we're going to be up to this lovely wet Monday morning, afternoon. Oh, I'll get there in the end. <laughs> so this is what we're kind of aiming for-ish, maybe something like yep i'm gonna move that to one side evening maxine oh afternoon oh. <laughs> i do get confused easy don't i hi tina i do i get confused far too easy so i've got my big journal book out because i just want to make sure i pop a, a piece you know, you know me, I like to have a piece to show where, 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 where we've been and what we've been doing. So what's that page like? That page will be perfect. There we go. I'm not sure if I said hello, but hello Tina. <laughs> right, I'm just making a bit of room on my desk. So, blank page. Oh, always the same way. That white space. Evening, what? Uh, evening afternoon mom <laughs> right so i've just got a teeny tiny little bit of gamboge in there probably need to mix some more at some point and i'm just going to do a bit of a spritz in the background can you hear the rain i time that light coming and hiding out in here so all i'm going to do to start off i'm going to start shouting in a minute so all I'm going to do is just make sure, I've not used my spritzer for a couple of days, so I'm just going to spritz it into a bit of a tissue. There we go. I know it's working. I know it's working fine. And then I'm just going to put a bit of a spritz background in. So it'll be really gentle. There we go. And because it's gamboge, it is really light. <laughs> no, I keep saying even. It's been one of them days already. <laughs> It has, it's been one of those. What I'm going to do is I'm also, I put my little um, index card book away, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it so that we can see it as we work on it. I hope. There we go. So I'm going to pop that over to one side. Oh, you can just about see it. So we've got our lovely gamboge. I know it's really pale. It's the disadvantages of being in the crafty shed. It's actually got a fake roof to try and um, minimise some of the noise. <laughs> it doesn't do much of a job. Right. So I'm at, I think we're actually going to keep to the same kind of colour palette as well. So first up, I want just a really nice... I want to use my texture stamps, basically. I'm going to move that out of my way. I'm going to keep it so we can see it, but... I'm going to move it to one side. So... I have got to admit, I am enjoying using getting to really explore our monthly make, make sets. So I'm just going to get rid of a few little Angelinas off this cheeky one. There we go. So, I'm going to use a nice stamp block as well. There we go. Right. Oh, doesn't want to stick today. <laughs> I've been one of them days, aren't I? So, I've got our lovely hexagon doodles. Afternoon, Sandy. I got that one right. <laughs> I've got one afternoon. <laughs> I think it's because it feels like a late afternoon already. Right, so I'm going to stay with my yellows, I think. So we've got our lovely gambos in the background. Very, very pale. But it is there. It is there, honestly. And then I think I'm going to go on to... Do it. I'm actually thinking I'm going to go to a lovely, um, I want to embrace this, I want to go to, there it is, smoky, smoky grey, and I know I'm going straight onto colour and straight onto detail. Hmm, 
and, and just saying that doesn't sound right does it so looking at what I've got in front of me I'm gonna go for I wonder if scattered straw I'm thinking fossilized amber actually I'm jumping around I know I'll calm down in a minute oh no scattered straw so we're gonna do scattered straw instead of fossilized amber I'm going to put a few of these in. Oh, now I know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to ink this one up. I'm going to do our lovely little spritz that we found that we quite like. And then we'll put some more in with a bit more detail. Yep. So let's just start to come down on this one. And again. Mm -hmm. Turn it around, go a little bit that way, won't it? you think I'd know by now. And then clean up your stamp because we're working without oxides that's really wet so i'm just going to dab it as well because i don't want any moisture going into our distress inks oxides even i'm going to try and keep it down one side so when we come like on that other one i've just shown you when we come to put our hexagons on it's all going to be on one side just lining it up. Ooh, that was a bit wet one, wasn't it? But I'm not going to dab it. I'm going to see what happens. <laughs> sometimes, having blobs like that sometimes will work. Really gently. It's because I was holding the spritzer too close. Put this one in. There we go. I'm just going to do one more kind of here. A little bit of a spritz. And then, where can we fit this one in? Let's turn him around and see. There we go. There's always a way to link these guys up. That didn't line up very well at all. It's actually looking quite nice. It's not until sometimes you take that step back, is it, that you think, I actually quite like that. Right, so you can tell how much water I've got. I'm like slipping around like I don't, I don't know what. I do quite like that. I want to put some of the words down the side now as well. From it today, I've got covered in water, and I've not got a leak in the roof at all. Then, right? I'm just gonna blast this in the heat gun because I'm loving. You see where I've got this big inky, like a splodgy mark? It actually looks really sweet. So, I'm not sweet. Texture, I suppose, is the word I'm looking for. I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to fix this now because once you spritz your um, oxides. Or wet your oxide and you put heat on them to fix. Yeah, they're not going to go anywhere. So you know when we're doing like the pick up technique and if they do one colour then do your next colour, it's because I want you to fix those colours. You see how wet that is, it's become really all ruined for you. Yeah, and that's all I'm doing here. I've liked how this has turned out. If I didn't like it, I could have gone back. I always love looking at the back of the page. pages because you don't. And from here, I've got loads of different um, brushes and things. Okay. Yeah, it should be dry enough. Dry enough for our next little bit. So I want to start using my words. Got some really strong words with this set, haven't I? But I'm gonna go for the more delicate ones. So we've got our amazing yourself. Got strong and original, but I'm fancying them kind of across the bottom. I've been favouring doing that, haven't I? So oh, I'm gonna cheat as well. Can you see? I've got them lined up on my desk already. Then I want to pick it up so it's easy for me to stamp. Oh, they're not. 
because we're cold in here today. Nothing wants to stick. <laughs> I'll use that as my excuse. It's not because they're dirty in any way, shape or form, honest. So I'm just going to try and line them up a little bit. He doesn't want to stick, full stop. Come on. I'm going to have to give them a bit of a wipe. It actually feels like they've got um, embossing powder on the back of them. See that one. Just let them air a second. Start to dry them up. It's like because they're dirty and it's cold. I forgot to put the heater on earlier. So we're doing Little Bear's bedroom and having a good day with this today am I? <laughs> Let's not do that bit next. We'll let them dry so we'll stick. Let's move on to our hexagons while well, I'm waiting for the stamps to decide they want to stick for a change. So where is it? There it is. I'm gonna go to my poly plates. going to do the three again. There you go. Oh, now they might want to stick. Look at that. <laughs> Look, now they're sticking. How rude. I didn't want to play first thing. So, <laughs> story of my day. Right, I want nice bright colours to go with our page. So I'm thinking I'm going to go to my usual suspects. My usual palette for oxides but I have just seen where's it gone now twisted citron and I do like that one I'm going all bright today aren't I so my usual suspects are cracked pistachio peacock feathers this is where they're meant to jump off my desk and go hello but they're not doing it today are they I'm not frozen china even the same colour. Wilted violet. No made lagoon, that's not the right one either. What's how we've not used our usual suspects of colour for a while? Because we've been playing with mushrooms and things, isn't it? I don't think a peacock for the mushrooms quite. Oops. I think there's one. I can always tell which ones they are because they're always a bit. Yeah, there we go. Can you see around the edges? They've got ink everywhere because I use them all the time. <laughs> but I think I am going to cheat. I'm going to use Twisted Citron instead of Cracked Pistachio. So, a bit of scrap paper. Come on. Just need a piece big enough to stamp three little hexagons on them. So can I get it out of that one? Can I get two on that one? And another piece there. I've got loads of pieces for sentence, but not many. Um, big enough for the oxides. So, oh, I could have probably done with one more. Never mind. I'm going to start off with my twist, twisted citron. Come on, Mr. Impad. In it there, but it doesn't want to stay today, does it? Quick spritz. And I'm going to use the um, nice detailed one around the edge. I don't, I don't actually need to leave myself that much space for cutting out. So lovely bright green there. And then I'm going to go to my next one. So if you look at my colours, palest to darkest. Peacock Feathers is my next one. So I'm going to ink him up. What do you reckon I will get all three on here? I might do. Give him a quick spritz, not too much. No. I'm not even going to try because it's a bit too close. Could have done with a little bit more water. Can you see how it's blotchy here? Could have just done with a little bit more water just to make it run a little bit easier. There we go. But it has to clean up my ink plate. Hi Jackie! So, 
I want to put a frame around this one, so I'm going to use that one. It's a bit wet. I think my problem is my cloth's a bit wet today. Isn't it? Or I've been DIY'd out this morning. Probably more that. <laughs> School holiday and DIY. What a combo, eh? Hey? So I'm just popping it around the edge. You know how we, how we roll with this by now. Give it a quick spritz. I've done it a little bit more than I normally would water-wise. So I want it to merge a bit. Then we line it up. Again, if you use your lovely um, stamp presses and things like that, if you get on with them, I can't for some reason. They just don't like me. There you go. Get that lovely effect around it. Ooh, that, that twisted citron looks really horrid on screen. It's not honest. Nice colour, really. Let's see if that's any better. That's a bit better, isn't it? It's lovely and bright. It looks a bit like pea soup on the screen. Oh, it does on my screen. It's not. It's lovely colour. Again, I'm just going to dry that off because, like I say, my cloth is really wet. And then I'm going to go into our wilted violet. Let's get a quick spritz. I'm actually quite glad my um, stamps didn't want to stick because I think I've changed my mind on what colour I want to stamp them in. Because I was going to do them in grey on our page. But I think we might do a bit of a combo. So we've got our uh, wilted violet there. I'm going to do my edge on my last one. And we just need to grab another colour. It's a bit of a big frame, you can tell by how far I've come in on it. The only reason I'm putting my hand there is to stop any extra bits. Yeah, don't want it splashing out onto this bit. Hi, Sean. Yeah, the little poly plate is quite a nice little, uh, uh, a good one to go with our set, but you don't need it. You could do this technique on your, um, you know, like do a pick up or something like that on a piece of paper and then cut them out because I'm going to cut them out anyway. Right, I just need a darker shade on this one. I think I'm going to go for a bit of blue. Um, something like a chip sapphire. I had them a minute ago, didn't I? Because we were playing, there we go. I knew we were playing with them the other day. So I've gone for chip sapphire. Oh, maybe I should have gone a bit more mermaid lagoon. No mind, we'll see how this looks. Spritz have just moved. <laughs> Rain's coming again. I think I'm going to develop duck feet if it carries on like this. That's going to have to look out for the fishies. They're going to be swimming off down the road. <laughs> They'll just float off one day. Never see them again. Ooh, that combo is nice. So that's wilted violet and chip sapphire. I knew it would be nice. I just. I like that one. Right, so I'm going to go back to my peacock feathers now. And we're going to start working on this little one. So I'm, I'm going to gut it. Just get rid of the bits I don't want to work on right now. We're going to do this one at a time. So hopefully, by doing it one at a time, they're going to come out slightly different. Even though we might use the same technique. Right, so I'm going to pop that away. What should we start with? We've got our lovely... Hmm. Do you think I'm going to pop the hexagon on this one? Because I think it will really jump out, won't it? So where did I put it? Ooh, little hexagon. I think I'm going to end up using this little hexagon doodles a lot. It is so much fun. Oh, there he is. Here we go, me ink. Gold. Who was going for gold? It used to be a TV show, didn't it? That it might still be. <laughs> I'm just drain off me um, stamp bases. There we go, right. So all I want with this is like the idea that it's there. So I don't even want first generation. Um, maybe second generation. So it's just stamp it. Oh, we're going third. Ooh, 
I'm still a bit heavy. Never mind. It'll work. I'm going to leave it on that one side, I think. Yep, it's the next one. What should we do on our next one? That's all I wanted to do on there. And then we'll do our frame as well, around the edge in the same colour. So on this one, I'm going to work with my violet. What's the difference between a pot? Oh, hi Christine. Um, what's the difference between a poly plate and a stamp? Absolutely nothing. It's made from the same material. It's just the poly plate is a lot bigger. It's um, just more concentrated of polymer. Absolutely nothing. It is a stamp, so you treat it in exactly the same way. So anything you can do with one of our stamps, you do with our poly plates too. So you can use them with your Angelina fibres. You can use them with your um, water rain. Um, you can use them with. <laughs> that's completely thrown me. Um, Angelina fibres. You can stamp, press them into hot embossing powders. Anything. Yep. The poly plate is just solid. That is all it is. But some of them aren't. Just the confusion. Yeah. That's all it is. It's just the name. Right. I'm going to go with hearts. I think on this one. What do you reckon? Hearts look good. I think so. Might use them both actually. Why not? Really going for it out there. It's stopping again now. Maybe I won't use both of them today. Right. That's this afternoon's job. I am washing stamps. <laughs> I need to wash my stamps. I'm going to second generation these ones as well. Third generation them. Hi, Leslie. Oh, you're very talented, granddaughter. She makes some lovely creations. There we go. Oops. So I'm going to fill this one, I think. I wanted it to be random, but I've ended up with a bit of a pattern going on, so I didn't mean to. There we go. I might pop a little bit of colour in that one as well. So, the last one. This is probably going to be on the top as well. And it's going to be the darkest one. So just give that a quick wipe. I'm going to go for my sapphire, because that is my dark colour, isn't it? You know what I'm going to play with? You know the little block you get? You know to put your B in your um, U and R on it. I'm going to play with that. So I think that'll look quite. So all I've done, I'm just going around the edge. So I'm going to frame it, I framed it like we would with one of our poly plates. Ooh, that's dark. Oh. So what are we on now? Fourth generation? don't want too much of this one because it's a bit like um, black so it's a fantastic colour but it's just so pigment heavy that I don't want to um, use too much of it it's quite a soggy one as well mine can you see it's just putting like um, a pattern around it Grunging it up, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. There we go. There's nothing. And then I'm going to cover the whole thing in this one. There we go. Look at that. What a cool little effect with that little one. Right, so there's our three. And then we are going to go, I need my little... This one's going to be the same. I can, You know when you can feel the grime? I said last week, so that needed to clean them. There we go. Right, so all I'm going to do, um, should I stamp the outside first? Probably want to stamp the outside first, don't I? And I'm going to stamp that in black. Ooh, what do I do with clean? No, we're going for clean and crisp, aren't we? You are meant to go, yes, clean and crisp today. <laughs> so just stick that down. 
there and where's my black gone there he is just a little bit around edge he's having a right curly fest this one there we go maybe now I'll pick it up properly Do like that. This is definitely going on the top. This is the top, top one out of the three. So I do like that. Put that down there. Yeah, I'm going to take my stamps and then give them a wash because. with a little bit of um see this was my favorite one to begin with but now i think i like that um wilted violet chip sapphire one there we go now and i don't clean them do i poor things down and all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back over but I'm going to go back over in the same as what I've edged it in yep so this one's peacock feathers that's not very helpful for you so it's got a lid of um what actually looks like a texture paste I'm going to pop that one in there but just round edge It does need a little bit of um, white pen on that. There's that one. Feels like a production line, doesn't it? So this is our wilted violet edge. It's just passing over from one to the next, isn't it? Definite production line today. oh it's not as bad as I thought it was going to go I didn't think I'd line that one up quite right it was soggy soggy cloth let's dry that off a bit oops now I've got ink there so I just need to be a little bit careful when I come to I was just being lazy I should have gone round the edge oops I do I like that one. That is nice. Hi Lynn. I do like that one. Right, so I've got my little hex I was gonna say rectangles, they're not the hexagons, aren't they? And I think there we go, now they want to play. Nice, and now they don't want to not stick. <laughs> so if you your stamps ever decide they don't want to stick like minded, then you just give them a quick wash. Give them a little bit of time. And they will soon decide they want to come and play again. That's what I need to do. Man. Right, so where's my book gone? Here it is. It is it's a tough call now. It's whether when we come and put our little bits on here. Can't really see the colours there. No, I'm going to stick with the grey. I am because I want these bits to pop. Yeah, it's always good just to. If you're not sure about a colour, give it time. In that, if, when we first went to stamp these, I was sure I wanted it in grey, and then it was when I started doing those little hexagons that I suddenly went, mm, maybe I don't. But actually. I do want my grey. I'm just inking it up. You'll notice as well. I have cheated and put them both on at the same time. Oops. Let's make 
making like a little panel down this side. Inky pinky mark again. I'm going to take that one off because I don't want that one off the bottom. I'm going to do it that way as well. <laughs> Rebel. Ink it up again. And I'm just going to move it as if it's coming off the paper. There we go. Now it is looking a little bit. I'm going to stick these back on acetate because they've got the stick back and we have. Um, and I have cleaned them. So, you know, let's put them back nicely on a piece of acetate and look after them. Right. Oh, Jackie's saying green to the front. See, I like that, that dark one. I think it's the grungy side of me. <laughs> Do I think it's the grungy side? Now, it is looking a little bit um, sparse. I think it's the word and I'm struggling with that a little bit so because you know me in white space even though it's not white because we put the spray on it I put the brusher background on it didn't we and um, it is looking a little bit so I've just grabbed no I've not I'm gonna grab this one and she wonders why yours don't stick very well <laughs> All I'm going to do, can you see? I'm just thinking of putting a few little random ones down the edge. So let me pay this colour. Let's start with our pay this one. I was going to say it was crap pistachio, it's not, it's citron, isn't it? So, again, I don't want it to overpower everything. I'm just going to very gently see. Oh, you can't see it's very, very faint, but I think it works. There we go. I'm just going to pop another one over this side a little bit. And actually, I've not cleaned my stamp very well at all. Surprise, surprise. Oh, uh, actually what it's doing is it's picking up. Can you see on there I've got that chip sapphire? Yep, yeah, so it's picking that up, which is fine too. Because I'm making sure I do clean between each. Oh. Right, so that's my twisted citron. I am going to go in with my pupa. I'm just going to give that a quick clean. And I'm going to dry it as well because like I say that cloth is very soggy today. Now I've got a week off. Oh lovely. Recharge. There we go. Time to recharge especially in this weather. Don't want to go anywhere in this weather today. Unless you're a duck. And I'm sure we've got some very happy ducks out and about today. Not that I'm calling you a duck noel, honest. <laughs> sure, that's what that sounded like then. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to pop another one up here. Yeah, I'd say it's quite like that one. Yeah, it's really faint. If you look at it, it is there but it is quite faint in the background. Just builds up the layers. I should have done that before I stamped my words. So I've got bits of oxide on top of me. My words. But it does still work. Ooh. Oh, my tissue on the floor. Right, so let's pop that there. Now, where do I put my little bits? Let's just give these a quick cut out. I can find my scissors. 
just around the edge. And this is why I chose the um, the detailed one. It's easier to cut out. <laughs> These are really wet still, so I must have really popped some water on. Something like that. Can you see I've made a right dog sinner cutting that line there? I just like a little border, nothing too much. You could, and I know um, we've got some good cutter outerers, you might want to cut it and then cut it flush and then mount it onto another piece of card. Just get your nice little borders. There's that one, my last one. <laughs> these ones they are the amazing scissors i did treat myself to a pair um and i was going to leave them with the sewing machine and mr Roo and i shouldn't really admit this but the boy loves them because he is a bit of a dab hand at cutting out and they absolutely i don't think they'll be coming in my crafty shed so i need to order another pair while they're still on offer because they are cutting price at the moment Right, but yeah, the scissors are brilliant, I love them. As you can see, this is starting to come together now, isn't it? Not looking too bad. I did think I'd messed it up a little bit, but it, it's it's coming together. I do. I might have to agree with you there, Jackie, the, the green might have to come on, come on top. So I'll do something a bit like that, maybe. <laughs> Just something a bit like that now. So this is me now starting to faff with how it's going to look. A bit like that. Right. So, I'm actually tempted. You know the B original? Even for this to one side. Yeah, these are the older ones. You can tell by the colour of them. And the clip here just is not the same as those new ones. Well, they cut fabric, absolutely. They are brilliant. Friskers um, are a really good brand for fabric. I've got the big um, dressmaking ones and they are fantastic. To be fair, my dressmaking ones my mum bought me years ago became our um, acetate cutting up ones when we do our stamps, um, which she always shouts at me for. I don't know if she's still watching, because she does shout. Um, so I treated myself to a new pair of dressmaking ones which are going to have a label on them for just dressmaking. And they are in my sewing machine case. So I think we're going to pop that. Oh, no. Do we put a stand out down at the bottom? Ooh, I can't decide now. What do you reckon? Should we put stand out? I'm quite clean. Hmm, decision time. It's not good, is it, when I have to make a decision? I think I do quite like that now. Ooh, too many choices. See, that's a good thing about the way I was gonna sounds really big headed, but the way I design my stamps is I want to give you loads and loads of options of how to stamp them. Yeah, which is why you get little bits. Whereas well, sometimes you just get too many options. Ooh, we might be doing that instead. Yeah, the blues and purples do intermingle. Whereas that green, I think it's because instead of using um, crap pistachio, which is my normal go-to, we've used the twisted citron. And I think it does just make it pop a little bit more, doesn't it? Right, I think I've, I've decided we're going to stand out on that one. And we're going to have original round our frame because I want to actually use a little tip that Nuala um, shared with us this week in our group. So before I lose B, I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to use the original around the edge. We're going to stamp this bit and then we're going to work on our background. But yeah, it's really coming together. You can see how we supersized it as well from our um, index card. Index card, which is always nice. 
so that I guess goes back to Noelle's question the other day you know when I'm doing my index cards and my um need to dry that it's wet through um, so when I'm doing my index cards and my tags I might be a bit more willing to um, challenge myself or give myself a bit of a push myself a little bit more yeah so now I know it works when I come to use it on a card or something I know that technique I know how it's going to work does that make sense You can see it's bobbling my tablecloth. Mm. Oh, it's a birch bubble, it's not wood, it's a tablecloth. I've moved on from my wallpaper. <laughs> so I want this to be lovely and dry so that it's got a little patch here. In that corner. That feels better. I want it lovely and dry because then when I come to stamp in a minute, I know there should be no reason. I'm not setting myself up to fail. I know there's no reason why it shouldn't stamp really nicely. So it doesn't stamp really nicely. I'm going to do it that way because you know on our page we've got all the detail this side. I'm going to go this way as well. Yep. Now, I need to somehow, oh, that should just fit there. This, out of all of them, stands probably the um, hardest one to fit in, isn't it? In your hexagons. And I can't believe that at weekend we'll be sending out November's box. That's just it's just come round so fast. Be in for a treat. I hope, I hope you like November's box. So I like to pop. Ooh. It's wobbly hands time. It's gonna be like that, isn't it? So I can get away with offsetting it a bit like that. I'm just eyeballing. I just went for it. Um, my lines to try and make sure my dirt and my sir are kind of central. Come on, drop off. Stand. And let's get that out. Do you think we should stand that in purple? I think purple could look quite nice. She says now she's got to go and search out purple. <laughs> so I think that purple just. And if we don't like it, we can always go over it with black, can't we? Stand out. So I'm going to line this up across the base. Let's just take that up again. Yep. And out across the base. Just like that. Oh, it's quite dark purple. It does look different. Should have maybe gone in with the um, oxide. Never mind. Still looks cool though. If I'm being really picky, it should have been up a little bit, but I'll forgive myself for that one. Right, pen time. I am actually thinking I don't want to do too much with this. The rain is back. It's been like a theme tune for today, hasn't it? <laughs> Have to time it right going back in the house. Ooh! They're so really going for it out there, isn't it? Right. What I'm searching through my box for. It, oh, I found my code stamp as well in my box. Put that back on that pile. So, what I'm looking for is if you've noticed, I've picked up two very different pens here. I've got one which is a glaze, a clear glaze, and I've got one that is a white glazy pen. So, what I just need to do is remember which one's which, because I can never remember from the, the caps which one is just clear glaze would actually be easier if I did it on coloured card because well you won't see the white bits will you? I think that's my clear which makes sense because it's got a bit of a clear cap and this one is the white clear and the, the white so this one's great for like doing eyeballs and stuff not that I do many yep 
and it's got, as you can see, it's just got like a little hint of white in with it. It's like a glazy white, whereas this one's just pure glaze. I could have used my glossy accents, but... I want to be a little bit more delicate than what my glossy accents would be. So you get the idea is there. We did this on the actual ACC the other day. Rethinking about it. Just coming in, just adding a little bit of glaze to these lovely. It doesn't look like I'm doing anything, does it? But I am honest. Get in here. You can probably see it a little bit better on the And the good thing is because I um, heat set this, the oxide isn't moving too much at all. Right, so there we go. You can see you've just got that little, oh, I've got a hole in there I have not done. Got an achy one, that's not good. Naked hexagon is not a good look, is it? Yeah, can you just see you've got that little bit of glaze on there? Yeah? Inside a bit. <laughs> it's not popping out there. Right. It does stand out a bit more on the. Okay. Actually, it stands out there, doesn't it? Right. Now, doo -doo -doo -doo. we've got them. I think they're going to look alright. So let's grab our page. <laughs> and we want, we want to be original at the bottom. Should we do it bottom or at the top? What do you think? They're going to come on here somewhere. I think at the top. Mm. Bottom. And then I could put my B at the, the top of it. So again, put it on there because it's not playing. With it being a long one, I'm popping it down and then picking it up try and keep it a little bit more level and then I'm going to go back in with my black that's my phone sorry got to love Sheldon don't you <laughs> whoops oh it was Pinterest I guess Pinterest small bedroom ideas. <laughs> there we go, right. Whoopsie. I've turned my phone down now. You have to hear Sheldon again. <laughs> he has to be one of my favourite characters. It reminds me a little bear, so I think that's why he's one of my favourite characters. His corner's just a bit bent. Pop that down there. Ooh, not very level. It'll do. And then I'm going to put my B just above it. There we go. So B original. Oh, I do like that in that bottom corner. Right, so now we're going to use Noala's idea because I love this when I saw it the other day. And I told her I was nicking it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm sharing it because I think it's a bad idea. I'm to find the right little stamp. So what she did was she took, you know the little, there it is, the little corner piece that goes inside your um, hexagons. Yep, what she did was she, oh, oops, there's glaze on that. <laughs> It is. You, um, lining up your stamps on your glass mat is perfect. It's just the glare's too much. So I have to use my mat. And none of my lines on my mat are very straight. I mean, tablecloth. But it's, it's a good idea to use your mats um, to line up your stamps. So, Noelle's idea was to use this as a corner. Now, let's just hope I have... Ooh, I think that's a bin men. Nothing to worry about. Let's just 
just hope, there we go, I have, I've popped it in side. <laughs> I'm just going to need a colour shunter and then there we go and my last one I love the ideas we've been sharing on our on our group it's amazing to see what people have been up to using the stamp sets there we go and then to finish it off you know what's coming next don't you let's see if he decides he wants to work today good old faithful it's running out let's see if he wants to no i think it, um, it might be the time to mount him onto a piece of mdf and pop him on the wall <laughs> just gonna come in with that bit Ooh, I'm being I'm being very brave for me and going. Oh, I love how it, it it really makes a different type of shape frame, doesn't it? Do you like that? Now, what colour do we think? I think purple. I'm gonna go in and I'm not purple blue. Do you think we pick up the peacock feathers because we've got a little bit there, a little bit there, and I think the peacock feathers will just. No, I've got my little. I can't give up that pen. He will work again. I don't know how, but he's, he's got to keep working. He's been with us too long. He was one that used to... He came up with a workshop box, to be honest. So he's done lots of make and takes. He's done he's done all sorts. So I can't complain. It's not like he hasn't earned his, his place on my desk. Moment in history. He has, he's, um, he's worked out of that pen. I'm just going to come in here. Again, this would be easier if you had a slightly finer brush. But I like using the flat-ended um, chisel ones. Especially for doing jobs like this, where you just want... I've got it too wet now. All I'm doing is trying to grab my colour. I could have used one of my jelly roll pens for it. Um, but that'd be introducing another colour because I did. You did see me go for it. Um, it's so it. I could have gone for a jelly roll pen to fill this in, but I like to try and keep my colours similar. So I'm just doing this bottom bit here. There we go. Just popping the round edge. him in some warm water, give him a bit of a bath. He's just, he's a little smidgen, I really don't think. I think we should do a piece of artwork with him though, you know, an MDF board or something. Just give him a place on the, the wall. He's earned it, little thing. There you go, just taking my time doing the edge. Oh, Jackie's going to have a crafty afternoon. Oh, sounds wonderful. It does sound wonderful. I am ripping up carpet this afternoon. Oh, well, actually, I'm hoping it's done by the time I've, I go back in. I let um little bear yesterday he's got a set of drawers that he no longer needs so he was taking them apart yeah. and literally he had a hand um, little screwdriver I wouldn't let him use the power tools and he had a whale of time yesterday afternoon taking a set of drawers apart <laughs> not that I want him to do it very often but he did he had a lovely time doing it Pauline's on a lunch break. Hello, enjoy your lunch, Pauline. <laughs> now, so I think we're pretty much there, aren't we? I might just grab. I don't want my glazy pen. Now, I've got the opposite problem with before. I don't want the glazed pen. I want the proper white ones. Well, that's an umbrella. He hasn't got an umbrella written on him, though. 
How strange. So all I want to do here, can you see, it's having a bit of an argument. Yeah, I've not got one that's jumping to the front. So I'm just going to grab my little white pen and he should just come in on here. Should just pull him to the front and I'm, you know me, he wants a few little doodle oodles on him as well, doesn't he? Again down here. I know it's only gamboge and it's really, really um, pale, but I'm going to just do the same. If I've done it to one, I'm going to do it to all three. Or four. And how many I've done up here that has it any colour at all. And then again, I'm just going to come in and make this look like he's been just a few little dots and scrapes. There we go. And then it's time to put it all together. So we have. This is what's going to take the time now, isn't it? Deciding what and where they're going to go. Oh, actually, I think it's come together. There you go. I'm not faffing with that. I do like that. Yeah, I'm half tempted though. Where's that little pen on there? See me love hearts there. I want them to jump out just as much. So again, in the glaze. Just in there, just as much. Yes, there. Come on, nearly there. <laughs> there on here. I think it just helps them jump. It just puts a bit of a sheen onto your um, oxide, doesn't it? A bit of a bit here as well. There you go. I think that's all of them. Yes, yeah, only really subtle. I think I'm going to do that one as well. I'm just going to pick out the odd one on here. I could do with a, a bit wider nib on this one. So again on that one. And that one. I think that'll be it. I don't need to do any more while well, that one's shouting. It's saying, Oi! No, not me. Put that too. Right, that's it. I'm not going to do any more on them. Because well, you hide most of them, don't you? <laughs> so that's going to go there. I'm going to actually glue these down. Oops. The big bird is here. So, well, as long as she's working again, it will. Come on, you know you want to glue. Nope, not today. Had it stood up as well. I wish how cold it is, isn't it? I'm just going to glue these flat. If I was doing this on a card, I'd probably... Well, it depends. If it was a blokey card, I'd just... Um, like use foam pads. Yep. Oh, <laughs> see you soon, Pauline. That was a quick visit. <laughs> I'm going to pop that one on there. I'm just watching my fingers in that glaze again. Eek! Whoops! And then this one. There you go. Get your lovely stand out in there. There we go. I am really pleased with how that's turned out. So I'll show you the inspiration I took it from. Whoops! There. Okay, so that was our page of inspiration, and that is how it's turned out. I really like that. Um, I think I've gone for much more brighter colours. Yep, so it does stand out a little bit more. This background, though, with our little um, hexagon doodles, you're going to be seeing me using him a lot. You can't see it. It is a lot. It's standing out a bit more. There you go. 
If I hold it like that, you can see that background a bit better. So what have I used? I've used our Hexagon Doodles. I did a base of gamboge, of course. A bit of a spritz of gamboge. Um, we stamped on it with, it was scattered with straw, wasn't it? Um, our mini hexagons, but we spritzed them before we did that. We then left it to dry because our words didn't want to stick. Because they were a bit dirty. Um, we then stamped our words in grey, smoky grey. Yeah. And then we used that lovely sketch frame that one just to build up our background and I think that's what helps I think that I wasn't quite happy with just the the doodles and the words I think adding that lovely little um sketch frame to the back really brought it together and then we've got our hexagon poly plates with the de detailed and the stitch detail around the edge stand out and be original at the bottom I like this be original at the bottom and then of course I've nicked the wild idea here of using our um, doodles that go inside our hexagons to actually frame it and I love how it just softens those corners it really it makes it look more like an aperture doesn't it really cra cracking idea that one Noala brilliant love it right there you go I'll put a little still doesn't want to go there we go standing up a little bit better isn't it <laughs> Right, so there you go, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed that one. Um, like I say, our next Multimate box will be leaving us on the 1st of November, which is actually Sunday, which is a bit pants really, isn't it? Because um, I can't post them on Sunday. Um, but hopefully you'll enjoy what you've got coming on Sunday. So Monday, I will be sticking with this month's Multimate because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Yep, so I'm going to stick, I'm going to do another Monday using this box. Yay! Cause I, I like, I do like this stack, it's, it is fun to work with. Um, but your monthly makes, if you've signed up, will be um, leaving us at the end of this week. So, there you go. Um, we are back on, what day is it today? Monday. We are back on Wednesday night, 8 o'clock as always. Um, not sure what we're making yet never do do I <laughs> but we'll be doing something fun we always do um, and hopefully you'll you'll find some you know I was looking forward to the next box mm -hmm. should I give you a sneaky a sneaky um, it's not a sneaky peek someone was asking the other day for some hints of what's in it yay um, so um, the box is pink. There you go. I told you one sneaky thing about it. The box is pink. Quite a nice pink actually. But good for reusing as well. So there you go. We are back Wednesday night. You had a sneaky little tell of what to look, look forward to for next month's pink box. <laughs> I am. I'm being a tease. It is. It's a fabulous set next month. Um, back Wednesday night. Be having some fun with I might do poly plates actually there you go Noelle likes the, the, the idea of a pink box yeah I'm not telling you what's inside the pink box but it's a nice little pink box it's nearly as nice as the silver ones hmm. right that's it from me um, have a lovely rest of your day I hope you're not venturing outside because it is rather wet out there or it is here though it has stopped raining so I should run in quickly shouldn't I <laughs> um, that's it have fun and take care. Well, Maxine likes this one, but I, yeah, I think I've crammed too much in there. I think because we've got a bit more space. And that one's had stencils on it as well. But I do, I think because we've got a bit more space, it, it's a completely different feel, isn't it? Poly plates on, on Wednesday. Okie dokie, that's me told Leslie. We will do some poly plates on Wednesday. I might just have a technique session. That just sounds quite fun, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm just jibber jabbering. Um, have a lovely afternoon. <laughs> take care, stay safe. Thank you, Maxine. Um, take care, stay safe, and hopefully I'll see you on Wednesday night. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.